Hello everybody, this is Dreamgamer back to kick off round 3 for group A. Definitely the tightest group thus far. So yeah, wow, everyone in group A getting one win, one defeat so far. So this will be a very, very pivotal round in this group. In this session, we are going to see Dino Hug going up against Heady, Toga Nightmare taking on Diddy Darius. And then, Random Shy Guy 10 going up against Team South America. Without further ado, let's go on with our first matchup. Oh, hang on, I forgot my notes. But it doesn't look like I'll need it in this field. Okay, in the red corner for Dino Hug, we got Alpha Aquacan for sorts. Dino Hug bouncing back in round two after disappointment in round one. And conveniently, both of our dudes want to swap an HPs in the red. Lower block knows as well. <laughs> so if my voice sounds funny, that is why. Backing up the Alpha Acro, we've got Ankylosaurus. Haven't seen too much of Anki yet. Okay, well, this is very good news for Heady. In the blue corner, we have Triceratops, the OG. And it will have terrain advantage, and in fact, it will start with a crypt. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're on the dirt plane, so yeah, Triceratops will have terrain advantage. Backing up the trike, we got Despletosaurus. This Despletosaurus got the job done for Heady in round two. So yeah, I don't think I'll need my notes so I can remember the terrain advantage. Both guys want to swap with HPs in the red. This should be an exciting match. Okay, so first things first, get the crit over with. Good start from Heady. Ooh, but the acro responds with a hit. The light recovery come in as well. And we are practically level packing. Ooh, that's a tie. I believe both of these guys are tie type. Ooh, head again. The next hit there is a lightning strike. A very even match thus far. Oh, not much damage done there. Hmm. Ooh, that's a tie. You slimy. <laughs> Picked up a bit of tissue. I forgot I already used it. Ooh, it's going to be time to swap for the app, bro. Oh, it's a crit. Could this be what Dino Hug needs to retake the lead? Well, this is going to do a lot of damage, put it that way. I don't think it's going to be lethal. Oh, it is lethal. <laughs> and that will put Dino Hug in the lead. Alright, does Pletosaurus, it's all up to you. And all the more while, that acro is going to heal. Could that be the turning point in this match? Oh, hello. Ed Eddie getting a crypt. It's a firebomb. And a tie bomb to come as well. Oh, poor Ankylosaur. Oh, wow. Clattered there. Absolutely clattered. Well, just when you thought I thought Dino Hug would get lead there, Eddie's coming back into it. Ooh, but a crypt from the Anki. Here comes Earthquake. Wow, this is truly anyone's contest. Really back and forth. Oh, hello, we got a support effect. It's a volcano burst. Blip. Okay, now that definitely puts Dino Hug back in the driving seat. Ooh, it's a tie. 
the bomb mech explodes. Ooh. Another firebomb for Ankylosaurus to chew on. A dino hug? Not in, not in such a strong position anymore. I mean, he still has the lead, but one more firebomb can change that. Oh, and this Acro gets hit as well. Wow. Wow, this has been a really tight contest. Oh, it's game over. Eddie coming from behind to snatch the win against Dino Hug. But, as a consolation prize for Dino Hug's efforts, they will get a losing bonus point. And, in a group as tight as Group A, a losing bonus point can be crucial. Well, it probably will be. But, it is Heady taking the spoils. Well, that was a fun match, wasn't it? On to our next match. Okie dokie, in the red corner, for Toga Nightmare, we have got the Alpha Sukumimus. Sunset Beach Field. Ooh. That's good news for Toga Nightmare, but not good news for Diddy Darius. That will mean this Suko will have terrain advantage, so it will get the first hit, which will be a paper hit. Backing up the Alpha Suko, we got the T-Rex. The Super T-Rex. Waker mode on four. Uh, we haven't seen too much of this guy. He's mainly been Alpha Suko doing all the work thus far. Okay, in the blue corner for Diddy Darius, we've got Alpha Kentrosaurus. Yeah, Alpha Kentrosaurus looked pretty solid so far for Diddy Darius. Backing it up, we got the Chantendosaurus, which could be a problem for Diddy. It will have terrain disadvantage. Hmm, will be a problem. Especially if he has to face the Alpha Suko, because the Alpha Suko will get off the crap. But we'll see how Diddy deals with this terrain disadvantage. He doesn't have to deal with it against Heady in the first round, he's going to have to deal with it again. Up. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to read about like, Oh, hang on, Super Mario's going to get a first set. And I'm like, oh, generate the moves, okay. Ooh, we got a Shockwave. A solid opening start from Toka this far. Okay, let's see what moves disappears. Okay, so we go for another paper. Nope, you can't go scissors. You can't go scissors. Yeah, you're going to have to go paper. <laughs> wow, that... You're determined to go for scissors. Ah, there you go. You got scissors off the aren't you now. The Kentosaurus determined to get off the venom fang on the Suko to poison it. Um. <laughs> He's like, oh. there's the poison. Poisoning the, the Suko Minus. Oh, bloody hell, that was loads of damage. Oh, maybe the poison got intensified because this Kentosaurus is poisoned. Well, poison or not, it's time to swap for the Suko. Oh, but he's not getting the swap. And from a position of promise, Diddy Darius has turned this match around. The T Rex will get hit as well. Now, what could be interesting is that the T Rex could get the Awaken mode on as the Shank comes in. And if that does happen, that will guarantee the T-Rex will get the hit in the awake with the Awaken Man. Ooh, that's a tie, and that will be all she wrote for Suka. Which means the T-Rex got to come in. Oh, there's a crit, but I think this T- Yeah, the, uh, the Dino stuff are coming in. Putting a stop to that crit. Alpha Kendro also has Dino Stuffer as well, so Dino Diddy Darius is in a strong position. Oh, there's another hit! Another Venom Fang! Okay, yeah, this is not looking good for Toka. Well, it started so well, they got the Shockwave off and then the tie and then Diddy's like, no, you gotta let me get a hit. 
And it was like, no, no, you, you can't use scissors. Oh, it's not good. Okay, that's three times. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, wow, that is really strong poison. Look at it, look at it. Ooh, okay, okay, no poison there. And that's game over. Wow, really didn't get press home that advantage. And it is a bonus point win for Diddy Darius. Well, it's kind of a letdown, really. I thought it would be a much tighter match, but oh well, that's how it goes. Right, on to our third and final matchup of this session. Right, let's see what this match has in store for us. Okay, in the red corner, for Random Shy Guy, we have the Sejuanosaurus Purple Predator. And while it's definitely lived up to its reputation thus far, it's, doing, it's caused a lot of problems for its oppositions, especially Dino Hug, who still has nightmares over this thing. Backing it up, we have got the Spinotector, which, well, hasn't really seen much play, to be honest. It got absolutely smoked by Heady in the last round and didn't feature at all against Dino Hug. Only came in to finish the job. Okay then, in the blue corner for Team South America, we have got the Abelosaurus. Team South America recovering after a shredding in round one from Toka Nightmare to get a well, basically a surprise win over Diddy Darius. And backing up the Abelosaurus, we have the Piatnitsky Saurus. The poisonous predator. Ooh, we've got the purple pest against the poisonous predator. So it's going to be interesting. Although, the Abelosaurus will have the type advantage over the Sejuan, but <laughs> Sejuanosaurus don't care about fire dinosaurs. Eat them for breakfast. Okay, so no train advantages to worry about here since neither of our guys have a secret dinosaur. Oop, that's a tie. Ooh, Sejuan gets the first hit. Oh, wow. <laughs> if Sejuan keeps getting hits, this is going to be a very long battle. Ooh, but the Abelosaurus responds. Okay, that is... Ooh. I feel like that's bang on halfway. Okay, it's definitely below half. <laughs> Actually, actually, it might be dead, but the type of energy of the Saurus has, the Sejuangosaurus, might actually die here. Not living up to its reputation of not caring about fire dinosaurs. Oh, yep, there it goes. And it's all on Spinotector. Right, that's another type. Ooh, it'd be time to swap for Team South America. And they'll probably quite be a good and it'll be a very good swap size set that tight disadvantage but ocean panic's gonna come in sploosh okay so that means that the spinal tactic will be going for rock You can't go paper. You can't go paper. Yeah, you're gonna have to go scissors. And go for the swap, which is gonna fail. Oh, actually, I should get my codes out because we might see Spino Tactic. Dino Tactic. Well, actually, yeah, we, sh we should see it because the Spino will probably need at least three hits to kill the Kyanitsky Saurus. And I think in less than three hits, our bar will fill up. So I'm pretty confident we'll see the Spike, the Dino Tactic. Of course, that's granted if Spino Tector gets enough hits. Oh, well, it's going to now because a tie. Yeah, actually, yeah. That's guaranteed. 
So we are going to see the Dino Tector, because Spine of Tector will go a rock. And the Pianitsky Saurus will try to go paper, but it can't, so it's got to go rock. And get the tie. Do not take that on! Oh no, me, my notes have dropped. But I don't need it now. <laughs> well, we're going to see some Ultimate Walker. The odds are definitely in Shy Guy's favour now. Ooh. Is it though? Is it? Has Team South America done it again? Oh, look at him like, kicking his nose. Oh, I almost killed it. Well, now I'd say the odds are in Team South America's favour. Because a tie will do the job. Oh, it's a tie! A chance missed for random Shy Guy to get the win. And it is Team South America doing it again. Oh, that's got to be a kick in the teeth. That is a massive blow for random Shy Guy. Golden opportunity missed. And could that be costly in the long run? Right, let's have a look at how Group A stands after that round. Again, still a really tight group, Group A. But Diddy Darius getting the bonus point win there over Toka. Cementing their lead at the top on 9 points, and more importantly, they're 5 points clear of the bottom. Fact, should Diddy Darius get another win, that will guarantee their place in the last 32 round. Things looking good for our champ. And yeah, those bonus points have definitely helped. Hedy and Team South America on 6 points. Well, Team South America really surprising there, but Hedy doing well again. Let's not forget, they won, they won every group stage match in the last tournament. <laughs> Obviously, they can't do that this time, but yeah, looking good for Hedy. Good record in the group stage. And we have Toka Nightmare and Dino Hug on four points. And I think they got to play each other. Oh, no, that was round two, wasn't it? <laughs> well, actually, yeah, they had Dino Hug should be above Toka. Yeah, if it come, if it come, if like guys are level on points come the end of the group stage, it'll come down to head to heads and then bonus points, etc, etc. So yeah, Dino Hug in fourth place by virtue of the fact that they beat Toka Nightmare and then Toka. Still on four points in fifth, and random shy guy at the bottom. Let's see who's playing in round four. So round four, we'll see Diddy Darius going up against Dino Hug, Team South America going up against Hedy, and then Toga random shy guy taking on Toga Nightmare. So yeah, really, really important round, round four. So yeah, that will conclude this session. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.